Just over 70 years ago, these men were amongst thousands of British soldiers who took part in the D-Day landings, a journey that defined their generation and a nation. For 90-year-old naval veteran Bernard Jordan, attending last year's commemorative events in northern France was his duty, even if that meant causing an international manhunt. Are you going to be in trouble when you get back to the home? Are you going to face the music now? Uh, yeah, I'd have to face that, but there we are. It's, uh, it's one of those things in life. Without telling staff, he disappeared from his Sussex nursing home and caught a coach and then ferry to France. It was only when a fellow veteran made contact several hours later was it confirmed that Bernard's own secret mission was a success. So I wanted to go to this, this uh, show here that was on today. That was the main, the main reason I came over here. And it's a first class show because I've been, I've been here last year and I've been here to, obviously this time and I'm going to touch wood if I'm still with us. <laughs> and I've, I've been 91 then. The story of Bernard's final mission captured the nation and propelled him to fame. More than 3,000 people sent birthday cards when news spread and his determination was praised by the Prime Minister and royalty. Last year's events were seen as the last opportunity for D-Day veterans to gather and remember. Bernard Jordan's determination was a reminder of how important their sacrifice was.